Hey you Sagittarius, it's me, the Sunlight Oracle here, and I have your relationship rating for June 2021. Thanks for being here. The way that this works, my friends, is that I need you to think of a person. You're that person and they're that person. <laughs> We're already jumping right in here. But think of a person, go with the first person that comes to mind, don't try to change it, and trust that the messages I channel for you here today are relevant to the dynamic of this said relationship, okay? Interesting. Huh, okay. Um, also, while you're here, please like, subscribe, share with a friend. This is a tiny YouTube channel, but we do big, deep readings. If you like that, if you like to go deep, um, this is a great channel for you, and the best way to support me in doing the free work that I do is by subscribing. So thanks a lot for being here, and let's go ahead and jump in. What we get for you here, my friend, is you are represented as the Six of Swords, and they are the Knight of Swords. Mm-hmm, okay. So for you, my friend, I feel like you're kind of in an in-between state. You're feeling like you're in between worlds, like things things are always working out for you, Sag. Like you know that, you, you have kind of this lucky streak to you that I think you are aware of and grateful for. But there there is this sense when you're so lucky and you feel it all the time, that you could be lacking something else. You could be lacking stability. You could be lacking fairness. You could be lacking creativity. But you're starting to learn that you can fill those voids yourself. You don't have to wait for anything. And I feel like you're, you're exiting this phase of waiting and you're entering this phase of being, okay? It's, it's been a long journey for you to realize that. Sagittarius or to come to terms with that and this person over here that you are thinking about in this relationship reading is represented by the knight of swords mm -hmm. I feel like while you are practicing patience while patience has become a way of life for you this person is kind of struggling with that this person is ready to go to battle at a moment's notice um, with you or with anyone who is around them and I feel like that is what sort of creates a little bit of tension. It's nothing that is unmanageable or can't be overcome in this relationship. Um, because I feel like, again, you're both, you both have similar interests. You're both on the same page. You both actually love each other, love the same things. It's just in your spiritual and emotional development and growth, you are in a state of acceptance and they are in a state of maybe panic, to be honest. And panic might be too hard of, harsh of a term, but rather like they're in a reactive state and you're actually in a very, uh, quite the opposite, like meditative, um, ex like I said, you're, you're accepting the state of the between worlds that you're feeling. They're not f vibing with that as much, you know? Um, but they recognize in you here with the two of swords that you are in this like sort of reprieve that you are actually exiting this like sort of neurotic anxious phase that you were in for a long time. They're starting to see that you've been able to kind of put that on pause and, and start to sort of exist in a state of, um, well-being. And I think that that is actually a really good sign that they can recognize the Zen in you and perhaps aspire to achieve it for themselves or to find it within themselves. You're a good influence on this person. Is <laughs> the way to really like cap this together. Um, and their influence on you is represented by the Hierophant here. And I see this is um, neither a bad or a good thing. Nothing is good, nothing is bad, it just is, right? And th this person's influence on you is actually strengthening the foundation that you have in your spiritual life. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is actually a really important message for you as I'm getting some ringing in my ears as I say this, uh, so tune into that. But there's something here that whether it's direct or indirect, conscious or subconscious, this person is sort of building you up in a way that this relationship on the very surface level might be have some conflict, have some impatience, but on the foundational level, it's super solid and mutually beneficial. Okay, maybe you already know that. I don't think I'm telling you anything you don't know. I feel like you two have been at this for a while. Again, whether it's a friendship or a crush or whoever, you you two have like a very um, established foundation of trust 
within one another. And even when I look at you, when I see this and I'm like, oh, this feels irritating, it's only the slight, the slightest irritation. And it also, this card, the Six of Swords that represents you communicates that you're, you know that this too shall pass. This Knight of Swords will mature. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, congratulations on being in this like sort of liminal space, this sort of pleasant um, zen space where you can just be. You know, a lot of people spend a long time trying to achieve that in Sagittarius, the archetype, the sun sign in June 2021. I know this is a relationship reading, but it speaks just as much to you as the individual soul that you are doing your work that makes you able to be loved, that makes you able to love. Mm -hmm. In the past, we get the six of pentacles. I see that as you. In the present, we get the page of rods. I see that as them. And in the future, we get the seven of pentacles, which to me feels like both of you. Okay, so for you in the past, Listen, I really like the Zen of this reading. I really like the Zen that you have been emitting and practicing here, Sagittarius. It seems like you're a really fair player. You can see the scale here for balance. I feel like you've established a lot of things in your own life. Like I see them as like stilts that hold up a house. You've done that on your own and you've been willing to share that with this person and maybe with other people as well in different ways. But it feels like your foundation is like as a human, um, is full of being a giver. Okay. And I don't even see this as a, a bad thing. You have this sort of compassion and this patience for this person who hasn't again, learned the patience, hasn't found the Zen. There here is the page of rods and they so desperately want to uh, appease you, want to please you Sagittarius because you're you're attractive, you're appealing. This this Zen state that you've achieved, like you're going to be a magnet for people, right? People want to be around you. This person included, and they want to impress you and they want your approval. And they want their they don't want to be dragged by their passions anymore. They want to be seen by you for their passions. It's clear to me as your humble tarot guide that you do see them for their passions and that you do love them for their passions but that there just needs to be an element of spiritual growth on their behalf so that you two can meet in the middle <laughs> or even meet above up in the Zen world that you're kind of existing in right now. I see that that's gonna take work here with the Seven of Pentacles and it's not your work to do. Your work to do is to remain patient, is to be Zen, is to be you and trust yourself, which you're already doing and I just wanna be a big cheerleader for you to continue to do that. For them, their work is a little bit more tangible. It's a little bit more literal. There would be books they could read, right? Like for you, I don't really feel like there are books for you to read on how to be patient or whatever. But for them, it's like there are all kinds of instructions in this world of how to become, you know, more aligned with the self. You're already aligned with yourself. So just wait up. <laughs> Time isn't real anyway, right? Um, I feel like you know all these things already. So with the seven of pentacles, it's going to be a group effort, but the effort is more passive on your part and more active on their part. I really feel like this relationship is meant to be. I really feel like you both are subconsciously learning really big lessons from one another. Even if it feels like you actually aren't, it feels like you're kind of wearing the pants here. You're in control. You are, you know, the, the voice of reason. Trust that you are learning from this person. Trust that they do love you and trust that, um, you know, relationships are hard and people on YouTube want to come for readings that, you know, give, inspire hope and all of that. And I hope to do that, right, as a tarot guide, but it's also to really point out the thorniness of life sometimes and how um, imperfect life is. And when we lay all the cards out on the table, we can sometimes see it more of a path to clarity. So that's a little side note from me getting me all emotional looking at this. Um, I think it's a beautiful relationship, honestly. Okay, Sag, what's the outcome? Oh my gosh, six of rods, success, achievement, etc., etc. You're gonna be riding high here. You're both gonna be riding high, but I really see it as you um, actually feeling, not only being zen like you already are, but also bringing a bit of that playfulness back into your life a bit of that like goofiness, a bit of the creation, a, a lot less seriousness, you know, life's not that seriousness. And that will happen when 
the two of you continue to practice exactly what it is you're learning for you it's patience for them it's um it's all kinds of things it's all kind of personal development but you um i feel like this happened in a reading this year for you as well which is you don't have to instruct this person on how to live you just have to be the way don't tell the way be the way and uh, you're doing a great job of that and i just want to encourage you to keep doing it because the outcome is just glorious it's victory it's love it's multiple ideas of how to move forward together as friends or as a couple or as a family it's it's just like complete like there's so much stuff that the two of you aren't seeing as a team right now that will sprout up that will become apparent once you start to practice precisely the lessons you're intended to learn right now together i feel like this is such a cool and lovely relationship and if it resonates please let me know in the comments below i really appreciate you still being here sticking out this reading i thought it was awesome and let me know what you think okay i will see you